Hi everyone, um, I'm here today to talk about the males in the music industry that I enjoy. Uh, I only ever seem to give love to the ladies, it seems, um, but I do like male fronted music as well, believe it or not. Um, in the metal industry, I can admit, I do prefer female fronted, but it's not exclusive to them. But then again, it seems that in the pop industry, I'm more into the boy bands and the girl bands, so there's you know, it's fair. There's the boys are obviously better at pop and girls are obviously better at metal. I don't know. I don't know. It's just my strange tastes. Um so yeah, I just wanted to talk about how it's it, I feel like every time I like a male fronted band in the metal industry, obviously, um, or rock because I'll talk about that in, in depth. Um, they seem to, I seem to curse them by liking them. And <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just like everyone that I become really attached to ends up going uh, in a strange direction. For example, the first male fronted band that I fell in love with and they, they had the ability to become one of the greatest bands of all time was Linkin Park. And um, as much as I am being that that person who's like, oh, they changed, I don't like it. I didn't like it. <laughs> um, I'm not into the whole, like, techno-y thing that they had going on. and um, I don't know, it's just not for me. I'm not going to start making videos about how they've sold out. And But it seems like every male-fronted band that I really like goes in a direction like that. And then I'm like, oh, it's not really for me. Um, for example, my favourite male band in the metal industry is Korn. I, I, I absolutely love them. And they did their dubstep stuff. Um, and I actually went to see them live during that tour when they first released that album. And, uh, oh my God, I could not handle the amounts of dubstepping going on like the support act was Jonathan Davis's like solo dubstep project um and I just I didn't I don't get it I'm sorry it's not for me and um re more recently another male fronted metal band more new metal not like full on metal um that I have absolutely loved since being very young um, is Papa Roach and in their newest album or at least the newest one I've heard uh, The Connection they went a bit like dubby, techno -y, whatever we're going to call it whatever that is they they went that direction and I didn't like that either um, so I don't, I don't like any male front of bands because they all just change on me um, and as I was saying I'm not just going to talk about metal because there is also one a uh, band that I have absolutely adored since I was like, I say about 15 maybe, um, and they are no more, um, and that is Good Charlotte, yes, I was a huge Good Charlotte fan, absolutely loved them, I went to see them when I was 16 and it was terrifying, it's the most violent gig I've ever been to, Good Charlotte. <laughs> It sounds so weird, but they were like, they were like directioners, the fans there. They were like fighting. Like, I literally got hit because I was closer to a band member than someone else. And um, it was like, they were all fighting and the, the crowd was just getting pushed from side to side. Like, it was awful. Um, but Good Charlotte, oh, I just, I don't know what it is about them. I'm not really a pop punk person, but those guys, yeah, I can listen to them constantly. Um... Apart from the last album that they did when they was together, I don't. I, maybe it's because I've grown out of pop punk. Like, I know it sounds horrible to say, but for me, pop punk's like a teenage angst kind of thing, and um, I think I kind of just grew out of it. And I didn't get the new album because I wasn't at that age where I was like, oh my god, I love this anymore for me anyways personally I think I've grown out of pop punk because I did used to like uh Blink and Sun 41 um and The Offspring and I don't mind listening to like the older nostalgia stuff but I'm not gonna like follow them religiously anymore or I'm not really particularly bothered about them anymore God Charlotte's the only one that seems to have really like give me a lasting impression that I really love um so 
Yeah, I don't know what it is about me liking male-fronted bands. They just, they seem to fizzle out on me. And I seem to just listen to their older stuff for all of these because I just enjoy them. Maybe it's a nostalgia factor. Maybe as I've got older, I've just grown out of all of these bands and not realised. Um, but I just wanted to say that I don't only like female-fronted metal and that, you know, there is some love out there for the guys. Um, as I was saying earlier as well in the beginning of this video, I absolutely love 90s boy bands. Um, you might have heard about me when I talked about them in other videos. Um, but my favourite was Five um, and NSYNC probably a close second. And uh, as when I was growing up as well, I preferred the boy bands to the like girl groups. Um, don't get me wrong, I loved some girl groups. I mean, Bewitched, you girls, you had it going on. Um, but you just couldn't beat the boy bands. And maybe, maybe it is some weird thing that I've done growing up that I've just transferred myself over to the lady fandom more than I have the male fandom. But, um, yeah, and I know I talk a lot about, like, the feminist ways and um, speaking out for the girls. And I don't give the guys any love. Um, I just want you to know it's not the case. It's not that I don't like male-fronted bands. Um, it's just that they just don't have the same... Um, I don't know what it is. They don't have the same X factor as the lady ones do now. And it's just my personal preference. Um, and so, yeah. I just wanted to get that off my chest. See you later. Bye.